The New South Wales Premier denies his government pork-barrelled bushfire recovery grants after an explosive Auditor General report revealed Labor-held electorates missed out on funding. Julia Bradley has the details. Julia, just take us through what this report actually shows. Well, Lash, this report by New South Wales Auditor General Margaret Crawford was completely scathing of the Perite government's administration of these bushfire recovery grants following the 2019-2020 Black Summer bushfires. It suggests that the administration of these recovery grants was not only inconsistent, but it also lacked integrity and transparency. Now, the most serious of the allegations contained in this report is that the office of the former Deputy Premier John Barillaro intervened to impose a $1 million threshold for recovery projects. And this meant that projects that were worth less than that amount were then not eligible for funding. And this meant that some of the projects that were in some of the most badly hit areas of New South Wales, like in the Blue Mountains, were then not given funding. This report also suggesting that the office of Mr Barillaro put forward a list of 35 projects that they wanted funding to be fast-tracked for under the first stage of these recovery grants and that the electorates for those projects were listed alongside of it. And this meant that projects in Labor-held electorates missed out on funding. But New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet today denied that pork barrelling was taking place. What I do know as Treasurer uh, during that period of time put over $4 billion in support to help our communities get back on their feet. And we know particularly down in the south areas, uh, they were substantially affected. Um, by those by those bushfires and in terms of other areas such as the flood zones that we've been in we've always made sure that we get funding out the door as quickly as possible now this is all despite the fact that the report said it was unclear why the department of regional new south wales listed the electorates as they did not form part of the selection process also suggesting that Mr Barillaro's office's decision to implement this $1 million threshold deviated from the guidelines. Labor leader Chris Minns slamming the government today. Even communities that were suffering from a terrible natural disaster were subject to pork barrelling. It shouldn't matter who you voted for. If you need help from your own government, the funds should be supplied, not someone checking who your local MP is. This is baked into the New South Wales government pork barrelling at every level of New South Wales government leadership. They're manipulating bushfire recovery grants. I would have thought common decency would have stepped in long ago and no government would manipulate a process to see a community recover. The New South Wales Premier has been out making a keynote speech at an event held by Business New South Wales this afternoon, also speaking up uh, talking up, should I say, a promise that a re-elected Perite government would cut red tape. It's clear in this instance that it was more red tape that was needed, Ash.